This video will explore how Adobe Creative Cloud Express can be used by teachers to create engaging video presentations which can be shared with the learners in their class. Visit adobe.com forward slash express and sign up for a free account either by selecting sign up with email or if you have a Google based email account click continue with Google. I already have an account so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once logged in, you'll be brought to the home page. On the left hand side of the screen, you will see a purple plus icon. Click on this and select video. You will be prompted to add a title for your video. You will also be asked if you'd like to choose a story template or start from scratch, which is what I'm going to do. You will then be brought to the video home screen where you will be presented with a selection of media which you can add to your presentation, including video, text, photos, icons, and narration. Let's start by adding some text. In this case, I'm going to create an instructional video for the students in my class on volcanoes. I can choose to make the text larger. By tapping on the plus, that will offer me a choice regarding the media that I can input. I'm going to add an image. When I select photo, you will see that the pane on the right hand side of the screen changes. I can upload a photo from my desktop or select a free photo or indeed connect with Dropbox, Google Photos or Google Drive. In this case, I'm going to find a copyright free image by entering a keyword, pressing return and selecting one of the images presented, which are linked to an online copyright free repository of images. By tapping on my selected image, it will be inserted into the background of the slide. At the bottom right hand side of the slide, you can see how long this will appear in the completed video. At the moment, it's at four seconds, which is a little too long, so I can reduce that down. To add a new slide, go to the bottom left of the screen and select the plus. This brings up a new slide for me. Before I add content to the slide, I may like to change the design. The layout options are visible on the right hand pane. For this slide, I'm going to select split screen. It's a good idea to choose a number of different layout options throughout the video presentation so that it's more engaging for viewers. This time, I'm going to include an icon on the left. As I've already searched for volcano, it's there in the search field. There are a number of icons relating to volcanoes which are available to be used. I will simply click on the one I prefer, then tap on the plus icon on the right hand side of the slide to input some text. I can choose to make my text a little larger if I wish. By tapping on the microphone icon on the bottom of the slide, I can add some narration. Simply tap and hold down the microphone symbol Add the narration and release the button like so. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash and gases escape. You can see that the slide duration has changed to suit the length of the narration. This makes Adobe Creative Cloud Express very user friendly as you don't need to manually change the duration of a section of the video. It's done automatically for you. I'm going to tap on another new slide and this time I'm going to add some video. Click on video. This will link to my desktop where I have previously downloaded a copyright free video file from pixabay.com in this case. Select the video file you wish to upload and click open. I can select a certain section of the video which I want to input into my presentation. In this case I'm going to choose a particular five second section and click save on the top right hand side of the screen. The video clip will now be uploaded to the presentation. Once the video file has uploaded, you can choose to add text in front of it, additional narration or an icon. In this case, I'm going to add some simple narration again by clicking and holding the microphone button, say what I wish to say and then release. Three quarters of the world's active volcanoes are found underwater. That narration has now been added to the video. Keep adding slides and media as has been demonstrated until you're happy with the content of the overall presentation. 
Once the presentation is complete, go to the right hand pane and beside layout you can change the theme of the overall presentation by selecting theme. I'm going to select a slide with text on it to see what any changes I make will look like. Scroll down through the different theme options that are available and pick one that you like. I'm going to choose this one and change the colour palette. It's possible to add or change background music for the finished video to make it more engaging for viewers or indeed turn it off if you feel it will distract from the narration. To preview any of the tracks available, simply click on the play icon to the left of the track title. Once you've found a track you like, click on the track title to add it as a backing track throughout the presentation. There are two ways to preview what the finished presentation will look like. The first option is to tap on the play button on the bottom left of the screen. Alternatively, you can select preview at the top of the screen. You'll notice that the media that has been added to the presentation is automatically referenced and attributed in the closing slide. If you have added any additional media, you can add credits for those here also. Sharing or downloading the completed video file is very simple. Navigate to the top of the screen. If you wish to share a link which your students can access, click on share and then publish. Give the video a title, pick a category, in this case education. You can then choose to have your name associated with the video or not, as well as choose whether to have the video featured on the Adobe Creative Cloud Express platform or not. Click on create link to generate a link which can be shared with students so they can watch the video in class or at home. Alternatively, click on download to download the file in MP4 format to your device. The downloaded file can be shared via the school's learning platform or indeed embedded on a website. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the PDST's Digital Technologies Team YouTube channel.